Hello, I'm Miss Karami from the Crystal Lake Public Library, and today I'm bored. I'm so bored. I just didn't know what to do. And so, you know, I was looking through my bookshelf, and I found a book today that I'm going to read. It is called Old Rock is Not Boring, and it is by Deb Paluti, and I have special permission to read it to you. So shall we? Old Rock. Old Rock had been sitting in the same spot at the edge of the clearing in the middle of a pine forest for as long as anyone could remember. And even before that. Being a rock seems awfully boring, said Tall Pine. You sit in the same spot day after day, said Spotted Beetle. It is a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Well, don't you want to go anywhere, said Hummingbird. Look at that. It's a very pretty hummingbird. Can you see? I have flown all over the world and sipped the nectar of exotic flowers. I would surely be bored if I couldn't fly. That looks like fun. I flew once, said Old Rock. I didn't know that rocks could fly, did you? Let's see. Gosh, said Tall Pine. How, asked Spotted Beetle. And rocks don't fly, said Hummingbird. That's what I think, too. Old Rock told them about the time in the beginning when darkness was all around. And then I erupted out of a volcano and I soared through the fiery sky into the bright light of a new world. Wow. Look at that. So it was just the one time then, said Hummingbird. And now you're just sitting here, said Tall Pine. Being bored, said Spotted Beetle. I'm not bored, said Old Rock. Well, don't you want to see more, said Spotted Beetle? That's a good question. If I climbed to the tip-top branch of Tall Pine, I might see a deer mouse nibbling seeds in a nearby tree. <gasps> have you ever seen a deer mouse in a tree? I have not. <gasps> or... I could watch ships sailing across the big blue lake. That looks very fun. What a fun beetle. Old Rock said, well, I've seen a lot. Old Rock told them about the time a group of friendly dinosaurs lumbered by munching every leaf in sight. Dinosaurs? <gasps> then, Many years later, a not-so-friendly dinosaur came along for a meal. Look. I haven't seen her, he said. Thank you. He's hiding from the big, scary dinosaur. Who knew? Time passed, and things changed, and the world chilled. The world chilled. Which wasn't too bad because Old Rock took a ride inside a glacier and toured the land. Wow! Who knew rocks did that? I did not know that. Once the glacier melted, it left me perched on the top of a high ridge and I could see the place where the land and sky touch where the sky touches the earth. That's very beautiful. My, you have seen a lot, said Spotted Beetle. How unusual, said Hummingbird. Yes, but that was ages ago, said Tall Pine. Those are all true things. Aren't you bored now? Don't you want more? 
my limbs flutter gently in the breeze and dance wildly when the wind blows. Have you ever seen a tree in the wind? It does do that, doesn't it? Hey, I have never danced, but I'm pretty good at doing somersaults, said Old Rock. I've never seen a rock do a somersault. I would like to see a rock do a somersault. Let's see. The rock revealed that after teetering on the ridge for a while, the ground rumbled. And I tumbled and stumbled down, down, down into a valley. That's what he means when he says a somersault. Wow. Grasses grew and mastodons roamed and lakes formed. Hey, shouldn't you be roaming? never knew a rock had moves like that, said Tall Pine. I wish I could have seen those things, said Spotted Beetle. Well, what happened next, said Hummingbird. Very exciting. Let's see, let's see. A pine forest sprouted up all around me. One day, a strong breeze shook a pine cone loose, and from the pine cone, a seed fell to the forest floor. I watched that seedling grow to be the big tall pine who dances in the wind and keeps me company. Oh, that's kind of lovely. Sometimes a spotted beetle wanders along to report all that he sees. And every so often, the loveliest hummingbird stops to rest after a long flight and she describes all the amazing places that she's visited. It is a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Yes, it is, said Tall Pine. Very nice, said Spotted Beetle. Not boring at all, said Hummingbird. That was a lovely story. How did we get to have such good friendships in the forest like that? Oh, what a lovely day. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I might go on a rock hunt. I think that I might take a walk around my neighborhood and see if I can find a fun rock. And then maybe what I'll do is I will make friends with that rock and I will hope that that rock tells me a story about where it's been. That would be my favorite. Well, I hope to hear from you soon. I miss you all very much. I hope you have a fun afternoon and aren't quite so bored. See you soon.